Now we're going to talk about setting up WordPress in a subfolder off your main website or off an add-on URL. And it's really very simple, but let me go through why you might want to do that. So for example, if you have a website called acme.com, you may want to have a sales letter on the, on the home page, you know, something that's a, a long form sales letter or something. Um, it could be in HTML, it could be in WordPress, it could be in, in a variety of different things. But you may want to actually have your blog using WordPress or, you know, Joomla or whatever. My preference is WordPress and that's what we'll be, that, that's what we'll be talking about in this, uh, in this training series. But if you want to do that, you would just have set up a folder right inside of acme.com that's called blog or it could be called members or it could be called anything you want it to be called and that's where you would install your content management system like WordPress so it's nothing fancy and when we get to the installation of WordPress piece I'll show you how to do that but that that's the reason why you might want to set up a subfolder.